Welcome to part 5 of this Best of Arnold Schwarzenegger series. Le 5 ans. I speak a little bit of French. Ne comprends pas? No? Oui? No? Yeah, well. I'll go back to English. This is the 1973 Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Mr. Olympia 1973. This is a renowned version, probably known for having the best conditioning out of all the Arnolds. But if you look to the other side, here's the 1975, that's synonymous, 75 physique, the pumping iron Arnold. And I have to tell you, the conditioning of that version is very good also. Of course, taking into consideration, this is not an exact straight-on comparison. There was this one here of Arnold from 75. He's tilted a little bit better, but still, nothing doing. Let's move on to the front double bicep poses. Now here is a good comparison. Everything seems pretty even here, except for that fine polish, that that pizzazz, that finish that 1975 possesses. Look at that. It's so refined. The biceps, perhaps the best set of arms of Arnold's career. Now, yes, the legs are a little undersized when compared to any other version, I believe. Those 73 legs are fantastic, but I must say, the conditioning, that finish, that 1975 is, is, has so much mystique around it. And like I said, I'm not judging these ones per se. This is more of a celebration of the oak. Here is a lovely little comparison. This one really accentuates each one of these years' strengths and weaknesses. It just simply looks like he is more conditioned in 1975, period. But he does look thicker. Ah, he is thick, thick in 1973. Could be a little bit of a camera distortion. There is this one here, a full body comparison, and dare I say, 75 is better. I mean, yes, he does have some awesome arm peaks there in 73. Look at that, look at that. But look at the close arm. Looks like he has a better set of arms, a bigger tricep perhaps as well in 75. Of course, due to the angle of the camera, I think he's showing the hamstrings and the calves a lot better. But, dare I say, I almost think I do prefer 75. 73, he is tilted nice there. It shows his upper body a little bit more prominent. But look at that detail. Oh, man, I love the 75 Arnold. Ah, now here is one good juicy comparison. I live for these moments. This is just... You can't get a better comparison. The 1973 back double by versus the 1975 back double by. And if you've ever wondered which back is better, wonder no longer. I'm not even going to judge this one. You guys can do it. No, I will. It is my channel. The 1975 back is far better. Look at that Christmas tree. Look at those traps. The lats are just as big in 73, but dare I say, the 1975 Arnold is much more conditioned, much more refined. He really knew that he didn't have the amount of muscle that he did in 73, so he really must have dieted good, 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 I must say. The best back double by, I think, of course, of Arnold's career, because if you recall, 73 had a better back double by than 74, so that's going to be one heck of a matchup too, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. This one's not over yet. There is always this pose here, and it will be over after this one. This is the last pose, the final hurrah. The most muscular from 1973, he does look a little bit bigger. Is he not a little bit larger? Now, one of the lags in 73 look bigger than in 75 but you look at the far leg and that looks bigger in 75 than it does in 73. pecs look a little bit meatier perhaps in 73 but look at the striations in 75. <sighs> i think this is probably one of if the only po if not the only pose that i would hand the victory to 73. just a little bit too big i think but, man, when I, I look at that 75, most muscular, I remember that exact scene from Pumping Iron. Arnold meant business. 
He always meant business. But I think as far as these two years are concerned, I think my favorite out of the two would be the 1975 pumping iron Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger version. What a version of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Probably my best. Depending, though, there is still one more matchup to go. The 1974 Mr. Olympia version of Schwarzenegger takes on that infamous 1975 version. Now, for the main events, I usually like to invite the Iron Grind in on the action. But to be honest with you guys, it, he does better when he does his own thing. He does his own videos. His views are skyrocketed. But, as usual, I am inviting the Iron Grind. I never talked to him yet about it, whether he's going to do it or not. So, don't don't uh, quote me on this, but I'm inviting him. I would love to hear his opinions on this one. The 1974 versus the 1975 Arnold. So, Iron Grind, if you, uh, if you haven't had a little extra time, and I know you're a busy man, but I think uh, my fans, as well as yours, would like to hear your opinion on this one. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have already, coincidentally, thank you guys so much. You guys made it up to 800 subscribers on my channel. Fantastic job. I applaud you, each and every one of you. Hope you enjoyed this one. Look forward to the main event in this series. 74 versus 75. Have a great day.